Right. Okay. So, did everybody have a good Mardi Gras break? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit too much fun? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 Okay, so I thought before we whip out the new guitars that have just arrived over the break, I thought we would take one more chance to go back and address some fundamentals of like not only singing, but a performance, a performance group. And so I came up with what we're going to call our pace values. Who can tell me what it means to keep a pace? What, is, what, is, what does that mean? Like a rhythm, another word for rhythm, or what else? I just say steady, steady yourself. Steady, I like that. Pace is, it, it, it connotes evenness, right? Where you keep a pace, it's like you don't go too fast or too slow. You don't go too heavy or too soft. It's just right, okay? And that, that's, that's what we're going to sort of focus on. We want to find that control where we have a lot of power, but it's not screaming. Or we want to find that control where we're singing softly, but it's not whispering. It's just control. Okay, so let's go over this together. Um, the first one is posture. We'll start on the end here. What is, what's the first uh, value for posture? Uh, just read it, read it right off the front here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Head, hands, hands, face, jaw, and throat. Throat. Relax, smile, if. If appropriate. So if you're singing, are you listening? You don't have to smile. If you're singing Man in the Mirror, if you're singing a happier song like B.O.B., we want to smile, right? So head held high, face, jaw, and throat relaxed. We want to look like the singers, right? Not, you know, like we're straining. Okay, what's the second one? Stand sturdy, both feet firmly planted, shoulders squared. Yes, I say this all the time, right? Keep your feet on the ground, right? Unless, <coughs> minus, you know, choreography and other things like that, we want to stand strong because that's the first, your posture is the first step towards a good singing. Okay, what about the third one? Move rhythmically, tap your foot, sway, move your body purposefully. Good. So, this, I put this one right after stand sturdy because, okay, yes, we want to stand strong and have good posture, but we want to also, we don't want to be robots either. We want to move with the music. That's not only accepted, but encouraged. Right? If you're going to move something, move it purposefully. Right? Don't, you know, d don't fidget with your arms, but if, you're, if you want to move rhythmically, that is what you need to be doing. Okay, move with a purpose, move with the rhythm. Okay, and the last one, which is pretty obvious, but very important. Um, face your audience or instructor. Right. Where are you looking? I've seen, you know, how many people I've seen, um, even solo acts, right, where they stare at the floor, they look off at the ceiling, they close their eyes, they're looking at their shoes, right? You're singing to an audience for them, right? So we want to remember that about our posture, like where are we directing our energy? Okay, the next one is active listening, okay? How many people have heard me say this before? Let's be active listeners. Have you guys heard this in rehearsal before? Okay, Mike, what does it mean? Right, take your cue from the soloist or the leader or the group who is, who is performing, right? Track them. Okay, also, this next one is probably my favorite of this whole list. Lloyd, what is it? The control? Um, active listening, the second one. Oh, respect every measure of music, even silence. Yes, okay, that means the first measure where it's silent coming into it. We have to respect every single measure because it's part of the experience for the audience, right? Even if your part isn't coming up yet, you know, if you lose it and you step, you know, you clock out mentally from the song, you know, you're not going to be able to give it 100%. You have to be able to respect the, even the silence, even the space between the notes. Okay, be in the moment. Okay, and um, what about the next one? Listen for the tone of your group and work on building your sound. Right. The group as a whole has a sound that's going to be more than just you plus you plus you plus you plus you. The group has a blend. How you guys all sound together, right? It's not like there's a difference between drinking a smoothie and drinking apple juice, then orange juice, then milk, then crunching on ice, right? There's, there's a difference. When we're all blending together, different types of sounds, different types of tones, it's going to create a different flavor or experience, and we've got to be active listeners even when singing. 
Okay, and the last part, part of this. Listening to songs is an essential part of the process of learning. Right, I capitalized the is there, right? Listening to songs is essential, right? Learning to sing, you have to learn how to listen first. I don't care who you are, okay? Um, so yeah, like it really surprised me, right? Some people coming to rehearsals, you know, 10 or 15 times, I'm like, have you listened to this song that we're doing? Have you gone home and actually read the lyrics and listened to it or watched a performance of it on YouTube or something? Um, yeah, all of these songs, I, they, they're on the back. You can quickly look. I have all the songs we've been doing, right? Look them up and listen to them a few times. It's going to help you when you're, when you're singing them because you've got it fresh in your brain. Okay, the next part is control. This is the third value. I'll just read these um, quickly because they're very simple. First thing, plan your breaths. So if your voice is your instrument as a singer, you have to plan your breathing. Breathing, that's sort of like breathing is your source of power and it's also your Achilles heel, right? It's also the thing that's going to trip you up when you run out of breath. That's where all your power comes from. You have to plan it. You have to think, when am I going to purposefully take a, a deep breath? When should I not take a breath? And so on. Um, the second one, know your music, okay? This, this is, um, we're getting now to the point where we've got sort of our songs more or less down, we might learn a few more, but we're getting towards performance time. We all need to know the lyrics without having to look at them every time. We all need to be able to remem remember our parts. The third one is stay focused on the moment or get in the zone, okay? So who can, who can explain to me what, what this means? Staying in the moment with the song, yeah. Like you're in the moment, like um, basically, like when you're in the moment, like you're into it, you're like you're really into it. Yeah, you're giving it your, all. your all, yeah, your full attention. And, you know, when you go out to perform, you want to be able to stay in that moment. You don't want to have this thought of like, oh, what part's coming up next? Or, oh, what was that lyric? Or, you know, oh, wait, like, what, where am I supposed to be standing, right? You want to be able to stay in that moment and to give a full performance from beginning to end without, you know, like going in and singing your part and then, like for example, let me, let me just give a real example. Like Mike, when he has his part of the B.O.B. song and then there's a whole chorus where he's not in that, right? It's like he's doing the one part and then the, the, the group's coming in with the Bruno Mars part, right? But he's still staying in the moment, you know, sometimes saying a word or two in the background or moving or encouraging the group, feeding off their energy. This is what I mean by staying in that moment. Even though he's not, you know, that's not his part to sing, he's still in the song. He's still staying with it. Um, and so that's a good example of that. Okay, and then the last one, always practice as if you are performing. So nobody wants to come and see you get through a piece of music. They want to see you perform and entertain them. Okay, and that's going to be more enjoyable for you as a performer as well. Yes, sir. All right, we can pause this for a